During the 1920s and 30s, a new pastime swept the USA. Speed. Hundreds of thousands watched as adrenaline-fueled speedboat racers competed in a series of death-defying duels. The technologies used by these super-fast craft would later shape the design of the PT boat. One of the leading British innovators was Hubert Scott Payne. In a legendary race of the interwar years, Scott Payne's futuristic boat, Miss Britain III, just lost out to American legend Gar Wood in his four-engined Miss America 10. Scott Payne and Wood's futuristic craft traveled at top speeds of over 100 miles per hour. This would later take inspiration from their lightweight materials and high-octane engines to provide the PT boat with the 45 knots it would need to survive in combat. The US Navy, wary of the security of its Pacific Islands, was forced to develop a fast attack craft for their defense. In 1939, the building of eight PT boats was given the go-ahead, but most were considered obsolete even before they were completed, as the US Navy showed more interest in the designs of Scott Payne. He was pretty much a speed freak. From his aviation background, he was into materials technology, lightweight structures, high-powered engines, aero engines. So he was combining the whole sort of aircraft industry and put it onto the water. He was you know, years ahead of other builders. By 1939, Scott Payne's latest boat, the PV-70, was impressing designers on both sides of the Atlantic. The American company Elko was keen to take a closer look. Erwin Chase, and the chief designer from Elko, came to the British Powerboat Company went out on trials on, on the PV-70 and were just amazed at its sea-keeping qualities and the way it could take large amounts of armament with relative ease. It was quite a you know, phenomenal boat. Scott Payne and his PV-70 arrived in New York. It was renamed PT-9 and put through its paces in front of a Navy trial board. Scott Payne himself was at the helm and the officers that were involved in the trials was very complimentary about the handling of the boat. In January 1940, Elko started construction of 10 70-foot PT boats based on the PT-9. In July 1941, the plywood derbies were held, where the next generation of these fast attack craft were pitted against each other. Prototypes from Elko and rival companies Higgins and Huckins competed in heavy seas. But it was the Elko boat, based on Scott Payne's designs, that emerged as the victor and won the lion's share of the Navy's contracts. PT-9 was basically the prototype for all PT boats to follow. Now that's not quite the, the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Uh, Andrew Jackson Higgins had his own ideas about how a boat should be designed, but the 70-foot Elko that the PT-9 was based off of was pretty much the mainstay of the early part of the war. Most boats carried four Mark 8 torpedoes with a range of over five miles and an awesome 300-pound warhead. The PT boats would not have to wait long for action. Whilst the Devil Boats fought their way through the hell in the Pacific, in Europe, they were at close quarters combat with Nazi Germany and its ally, Italy. These 50 tons of fast fighting fury worked closely with the motor torpedo boats of the Royal Navy that had been fighting to keep Britain's shipping lanes open. They were eager to share their giant killing tactics with their new allies. 